Peace. I'm doing a 48-hour fruit fast. So I'm going to eat fruit and I'm going to also be juicing what you see right here in this video. So I got pineapples, watermelon, apples, dragon fruit, and avocados. Yes, avocados are fruit. So we're going to slice and dice these joints. So we're kicking it off with the watermelon. Don't mind the cutting skills. I'm just going to get the job done. Now, if you in the juicing, if you a beginner or you already know, a watermelon gives you a lot of juice. So in my personal opinion, watermelon, a cucumber, pineapples, cantaloupe should be a part of your juicing for the simple fact that it gives you a lot of water, a lot of juice. Right, water, melon, holds a lot of water. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna slice and dice this joint, but we juicing it, so it really don't matter. So when you juicing, you need to cut the pieces up into sizes that is advantageous for your juicer. So I know, I know, leave the ripe. I'm cutting all that shit off. I'm getting them nice and ready just to be broken down in that juicer. Maybe I'll do the ripe next time. This is what I'm going with, cutting the ripe off. So I'm juicing, I'm going on this 48 hour fruit fast because if you've been following me on social media, Instagram or YouTube, you know that I've been bulking for almost three months, a little under three months. So I didn't put on 15 pounds, 190, it's time to scale back and juicing fast is going to get me there. But in particular, I want to feel good again, right? So bulking up, it just reminded me why I don't be bulking because I don't feel at my best eating a lot. I'm just not a big eater. So I've done this process before. I, I fast like a three-day water fast or something. Like once I bulk, I do a three-day water fast. I'm going with fruit. Because I want to get the cell, cellular detox, you know, with the fruit. And something else, if you don't know, fruit fast are optimal for detoxing. So I want to detox, I want to reset after this bolt to cut back up. And it's not even for the superficial. I just want to feel good, really. All right, so we're going to the pineapple. Again, pineapple is another fruit that carries a lot of water, which is a lot of juice. So you get a big bang for your buck when you using pineapple when you juicing. I've been juicing though. I haven't recently, but I've juiced this past year, maybe about two months. So I kind of already got like my pattern down. You know, the watermelon, the cucumbers, the pineapples, I kind of already know. But up until those two months, I didn't know shit about juicing. I knew about juicing, I just wasn't juicing myself to be able to communicate effectively like right now about what will give you the best bang for your buck in terms of juicing. Fasting, fasting in general should be a must in your yearly routine, if not monthly routine. Fasting just means to go without. So you can either water fast, you can fruit fast, you can carb fast, you can meat fast. I mean, there's plenty ways of fasting. Definitely, you should try 
24 to 48 hours water fast. Now I'm going to get these apples right. For me, apples, when you're juicing, you really get the sweetness out of the apples. So I like to throw apples up in there because I do want it to taste good. They don't necessarily have to taste good because if we was using greens like uh, kale and cucumbers and spinach and shit like that, that shit don't taste good. And I don't got no problem with that. Okay, you thought I was going to take that knife to that apple. Nah, I told you. I juiced a little while ago. So I picked up this apple cutter, which was right. This apple cutter just made it super simple because it takes the core out and simplifies the process. So we got the watermelon ready, the pineapples. We getting the apples ready. You see the juicer right there in the back. That joint is ready, nice and clean. So we gonna slice and dice the dragon fruit next. Now, I've never juiced dragon fruit, but I know it definitely got some benefits. And the, the number one reason why I got it, two reasons, because it was different getting that dragon fruit and also it has a shitload of antioxidants and it has prebiotics. Also, it's high in fiber. So the dragon fruit should be implemented into your regular fruit routine anyway. So we got the yellow dragon fruit. Now the outer layer, the outer skin on the dragon fruit is actually kind of soft. The fucking thorn poked me in the thumb right there. Again, it's my first time tussling with this dragon fruit. So the outer skin is soft. And these sharp knives slicing through like butter. So if you know dragon fruit, you know the look, right? It's looking delicious. So I figured I'll take the spoon to get it off the skin. But to my surprise, you can just peel it off. Peel off just like an orange. Now, I already know this dragon fruit is not going to yield a lot of juice. I just want to incorporate it with some of the other fruits that's high in juice just to give it that a different feel, just to see what it tastes like. I actually ate a piece of this dragon fruit, super sweet in a good way. I actually got one more that I'm gonna slice and dice and I'm going to eat with some other fruit later. That piece was so sweet, I couldn't see myself juicing all those pieces of dragon fruit. So this is the layout. This is what we're going with. Everything is cut, sliced, and diced, and ready to go. Let's get that juicer on, and let's get in that sweet nectar of the gods ready. Don't mind the sage. Thank you. 
mission complete. Mason jars locked and loaded, full nectar of the gods, 48 hour fruit fast, juicing and eating fruit 48 hours, maybe longer. Like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate the time. Peace.